in here chickens, so we need to get further out. I mean, that's a goat. We've been out here for a couple hours now, and we do not have long to get this deer. The wedding's in a couple days, and I think we've walked in a few circles, just following trails. It's, 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 it might be time to reassess and figure out where we really are. I think our best chance is to find a nice spot on the other side where nobody has any business being. We'll be left alone, we just sit, we don't talk, we don't make any noise, and we'll get a deer. You think sit there or find a good vantage and then sit there? No, Gabe, I think we all let's park and stare at a brick wall. Okay. I think let's find the least open spot we possibly can and cover our eyes all day. No, but I'm just definitely on edge. You know, we're losing daylight. At this point, with it looking like we're not gonna get something, the pressure's on. I'm pretty sure the main access road is up there. No, we are on the trail. That's where they crossed over. I have a great sense of direction, unless you drop me into the middle of the city where everything kind of looks the same. Okay, this way. But out in the woods, I see the detail in the tree, the way it looks, what ground you covered to get where you're going. You gotta keep going until we're further out. Probably just be on that ridge is the forest line. But that's our best chance of seeing something. I'm definitely glad Rain wasn't home. I don't know how much she'd appreciate me hunting the backside of her land. She'd be like, uh, did you know my house was here? Uh, answer, no. If the objective today was to borrow a cup of sugar, that would be easy. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything and actually ended up walking up on, on Rainy's little house on wheels here. Uh, so this is a bust. Why don't we just open the oven and let the deer, you know, just bob in himself. Bear and I have been trying everything, trying to get a deer. You know, we've been stalking, we've been looking for them. Uh, not much luck, so we're going to go with the other tried and true method, which is blind hunting. How's it looking? It's looking pretty good. The advantage of a blind is if you find a good spot like we do have here, and you're going to go the approach of sitting and hunting and waiting, and hoping sign comes out in front of you and you get a good shot. The blind just disguises you, it hides you, it's camouflage. I still have a lot of stuff. When you set up a blind, if you do it right, then yeah, you just disappear into the woods, into the trees. You are part of the background, and nothing should notice you. One is sturdy. What do you think? I think it's never good enough. I don't. I think a good artist knows when to stop. Whoever said I was a good artist? I think it looks good. I think let's, let's sit and wait a little bit. You know? Yeah. I am looking for a good stick. I gotta make a deer call. It's a, it's an old native trick. That you take a stick that already has a bend in it, or you cut a bend in it, and then you just put a leaf in that. Oh, you let my scope gather some water. What's that? You let my scope no, gather. No, you let your scope gather some water. There's That's dirt in the end. Well, then that would be your what fault. What did you not do? Mine. Did you drop it? For what? Inside blind voice. Bam, it's plugged. Gated. I didn't do it. Hold on a second. Let me check. No, that isn't my gun. It's when you tripped over it. Oh, yeah. Join the Marines and blame someone else for your gun's condition. Try it. See if that flies. It's a little tricky hunting with Bam. Being yelled at and strung up. We do not have long to get this deer, and it is so important. I didn't do anything to your gun. Tripped over it. It got the mud no, down the barrel, the barrel into the ground while I tripped over yes, it. Yes, you did. Why did the mud just jumped up in there? Did I leave my gun somewhere you could trip on it? Yes. Did I? Tri did you trip on my gun? No, because no. I was watching where I was going. No matter what, you should take care of your gun. Oh my goodness. Your gun is your life. Your gun is your survival. Well, now I have to clean my gun. Thank you very much. Put it in the samurai. Your weapon is your soul, and your soul is dirty. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. My soul's a little wet, but she's beautiful. You should never leave your gun somewhere that somebody can trip over it. You should never leave your gun somewhere you can trip over it. With no sign of deer, hours after setting up a blind, Gabe is attempting to resurrect a bush hunting implement, if he can master the technique. <laughs> Not a flatulent deer, come on. <laughs> It 
takes a minute to get it right, but I did eventually get like a good deer bleat. So any minute now, something could walk around the corner and we don't want to be caught off guard. I just keep thinking any minute's going to be the minute something walks out. It's got to be any minute, right? Hey, bam, hey, Gabe. Why don't you shoot me real quick and eat me and wear me? We're just gonna be sitting back here. All of a sudden, we'll see a deer walk out. Not just one, but two, and we go home heroes. It can get a little bit boring, uh, a little stir crazy sitting at a blind. <laughs> but Gaby, uh, he goes a little more stir crazy, I think, sitting at a blind, especially if he gets like uncomfortable. What the f doing in this accent? It's so hard. It's like talking with like a squeaky, annoying person. Quirky. We're here behind the blind, and it's nice. It's probably the nicest blind I've ever seen. I'll keep hoping I'm gonna look up and I'll see deer roaming the plains in herds. Hopefully we can shoot one, take it home. It'll be nice and good. <laughs> that was very good, that was good. It's like grabbing a duck, touchdown. <laughs> Down their feathers, touchdown. We've been sitting in the blind for a while. I don't think there are a lot of deer out here. We haven't seen hide nor hair of anything. I'm probably call it. You think so? Yeah. Pouring down, all the deer are sitting under a tree somewhere. Yeah, probably. All right, all right. let's call it a day. Let's right. pack it up. Let's pack go. it in. Sorry we didn't get one. I'm shattered. I really thought that I was gonna be able to pull a rabbit out of a hat with this one and, and surprise bear, but you can't hunt in the dark. So we need a plan B. Uh, I don't know, those goats are looking good. <laughs> the deer are out there like, finally, they're leaving. 